There's no doubt right now that keeping your best people is one of the hottest topics going around. How do I stop my employees from being poached or approached? How do I keep them? How do I avoid the constant conversation around do I pay them more or what happens if they approach me for a pay rise? Great conversations, but what I wanted to share with you is one of the acronyms and the tools that we've given clients to work with to help them retain their best people, and that's what we call the retain model. So I want you to think of the, the six letters, R-E-T-A-I-N, and I'm gonna run through with you briefly what they stand for. Firstly, the R stands for recognize. Now that's just not just recognizing great behavior, or acknowledging you know, how people are performing when things are going well, but it's also recognizing or the acknowledgement of what's actually taking place. And that could be anything from, hey, listen, we've had a tough start to the year, we've had a slow start to the year, we've had a, you know, a staggered start to the year, all sorts of things have been going on. Maybe you recognize that, hey, listen, the temperatures, we're working through some hot weather, it's acknowledging what's actually going on, rather than just trying to push things to the side. Recognition is not just recognizing great behavior, it's also recognizing poor behavior and also pulling people up who aren't performing to the standards that you are expecting of them. So that's the R. E stands for engage. And you might say, John, how do I engage my best people? Well, engagement, particularly for people in the trade and construction space, is all about how do I play a game? So an example of how you can engage your team is if you have some clear parameters of what a, a job looks like. For example, a construction project where you have a gross profit target and you have an on time, on budget expectation for you to win the game. The question is how do you engage your team to also support you in completing on time and on budget? See, I get that and I, and I, I have the viewpoint that Everyone shows up each and every day to do their best work, be acknowledged for it, and want to play a game in some way, shape, or form. Some are a little confused, but it's up to you as a business leader to engage them from that perspective. The T stands for train and teach. Everyone loves to learn. Many of us have had poor learning experiences. So I'd be sitting down with each of your team and asking them, what skills would you love to learn and grow and develop in over the next six to 12 months? And it may be just technical skills that they come up with. However, I'd like to also con contemplate the softer skills around communication and relationships and leadership. How do you provide an ongoing training and development plan for your team so that they see you're vested in them as human beings, not just to get a job done? A, A stands for, uh, in, in the language that we're using in this situation, accountability. And accountability is doing what you say you're gonna do. And I definitely made this mistake when I was you know, younger in business, when I wanted to come across as the business owner who said yes to lots of things. And all with a viewpoint to accomplish great things, but the reality is only 10% of what I said yes to did we follow through with. And so what I really learned is that often if you are going to say yes to something, if you're gonna to commit to something, acknowledge and accept that you're gonna also hold yourself accountable to it as well. So say yes to less, but follow through with that. And it's also about holding your team accountable to the results that you expect them to produce. Now, what I mean by that is I'm not talking about micromanaging. I'm talking to, uh, to you about, hey, when your team say they're gonna deliver on something, you wanna foster an environment where people follow through with what they say they're going to do. So that's the A. The I stands for inspire. Now, inspire is not motivate. You know, you can't motivate people. It's like trying to motivate a chair or a desk. Come on, you can be a better chair. Just sit up straight and show up early. Now, Inspire is about breathing life into people. And, and how you do that in a business is you wanna share a direction, you wanna share a vision of where you're going. And also, you wanna share some core values around how you're gonna play the game. You see, again, your team wanna know that they're working for an organization that's going somewhere. It's not just a job where they show up every day, get through to Friday, waste their weekend. It's about working for an organization that gives them an opportunity to be their very best as well. And the N at the end stands for what are the next steps? See, as I said earlier, everyone loves to progress, everyone loves to learn, but have you mapped out what is the career progression 
for all of your employees so that they know that if they continue on the journey with you that in three months six months 12 months time even longer they know exactly where they can end up and progress and get promoted as well you see all of those encompass some of the ingredients that create a great work environment and as a leader i'm going to encourage you to to be the person who creates a great workspace where your employees can show up and do their very best work. You acknowledge them for that. You recognize them for that. You engage them on the journey. And that in itself is as important, in fact, I think more important than how much you pay them. Paying them is important, but it's never, in the employee's viewpoint, the most important. I trust that's been a value for you. We're working with all of our clients on that at this point in time. So please feel free to touch base with us if you feel you can get some support around that.